did John D actually speak to guardian angels? John D and Edward Kelly created a cryptography system so complex that it put both that it put both into an altered state of consciousness just to study it. This system, called the heptarchical or Benorum method, was then combined with ritual scrying through a crystal ball in order to create a double-blind method to factor out random error. The result of this was D and Kelly's invention, or rediscovery, of the host of Enochian angels, intelligences and cacodemons, etc., derived from the subsequent system of 92 sigils of seven letters each atop the four watchtowers and across the 30 concentric rings of the heirs and so forth. So, essentially, D invented a system of cryptography, the Benorum, that Kelly combined with scrying for both to develop Enochian magic together. There are hundreds of different names of different types of servitor that may be evoked from these Enochian watchtower tables, each with its own pre-specified type of task it is most useful for. Although it is a vast circuit board, anyone with time and patience to work this system until they at least understand it will benefit from doing so, at least insofar as by expanding their minds to have learned this new information. As a mnemonic for improving memory, alike a Kabbalah, as a complexly enciphered puzzle, like a 12 by 13 cells per side Rubik's Cube, and as a prototypical form of paper machine model, like what we would call today a cybernetic computer, the Enochian system of D and Kelly is highly advanced intellectually and was so far ahead of its time for them, it proved useless at gaining the material wealth as while they were in Europe, developing this system, Dee's library back home in England was being robbed and plundered. So what Dee did was create a method for communicating to his own deeper psychic levels of consciousness, the heptarchical bonorum, that served as a method of interface between his sober, sane, waking life and the times during which he was practicing this system of Enochian magic. He then invoked a guide from beyond his sober, sane, mundane mind through this switchboard-like encryption system. And this guide or projected detachment of his own psyche then showed his ego or central self-concept how to step through this screen separating the mundane realm from the magical, the natural from the supernatural, etc. However, once having gained access to this limitless realm, where anything one may imagine may be instantaneously manifested, D brought with him the psychic baggage of the complex system he designed. So we now have the Enochian system of the four watchtowers as a work D brought back with him when he returned from this nether world of pure imagination that he accessed mentally by creating his complex encryption method. So, in short, D created a threshold between the real and the imaginary dimensions, stepped across it from the real into the realm of pure mind, and returned from this with the Enochian system's model intact. And, insofar as this system may be able to embody a fourth spatial dimensional tesseract-shaped metaphor as well, alike Hakagabala itself. It may indeed be used to contact more intelligent orders of beings. <laughs>